What it is, focus your homeboy first. Back again with another episode of the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some. Again, as I always tell y'all, I greatly appreciate y'all. I truly, truly appreciate all y'all real ones who are down with me. You feel me? And uh, the growth we've experienced this year has been tremendous. That's because of uh, of you. Okay? So please help us continue that by hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, sharing, and putting all your people on it. Okay? This is one of those ones. This is one of those ones. Y'all be waiting on, don't you? Because y'all know I'm going to give y'all that real shit. Y'all know it. And it's most needed right now at this moment. Because unfortunately, it seems like a lot of folks out here are missing that both Charleston White and Deion Sanders are some bullshit artists. Both of them. It ain't one or the other. It's both of them motherfuckers. Are bullshit artists. What you talking about first? Let me tell you what, you, what I'm talking about. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. I watched that interview that Charleston White recently did with Cam Newton. I watched it from start to finish. Okay? If anything else grabbed my attention, I made sure I pressed pause on that motherfucker. If I felt like I missed something, I went back because I wanted to make sure that I was thorough before I came over here and talked about this shit because a few clips have gone viral from the interview, uh, particularly showing Charleston White uh, seemingly reading Deion Sanders for leaving Jack State and going to Colorado. And a lot of people who still feel some type of way about that uh, have been championing what they heard Charleston White say. Okay. I'm here to tell y'all again, Charleston White and Deion Sanders are both, both bullshit artists, okay? So don't be fooled. That motherfucker does not give a damn about us down here in Mississippi or us in Jacktown or the Jackson Metro area or Jack State University. That man don't give a fuck for real, for real. Speaking out on that shit was a conduit for him to make some money. It was a conduit for his ass to go viral when he needed to go viral. He has openly said such. But let's go through this damn interview piece by piece, okay? It's a three-hour motherfucking interview. Cam Newton got, got some content out that son of a bitch. And, and it seemed like the man got the content for free. Oh, maybe, maybe Charleston White gonna get the residuals on the back end. I don't know. But I went through it point by point. And see, this is the thing with Charleston White. You got to be careful with that motherfucker. He that type of motherfucker that sounds smart if you ain't really up on your shit. Okay? He sound like he really know what the fuck he talking about if you're not on your shit. Case in point, he was talking about uh, him being homeschooled uh, for quite a long time and uh, how he this this turned him into an intellectual and how I know about uh, Jim Brown. They don't teach about Jim Brown. I, I know about him. The motherfucker was talking about John Brown. He meant to say John Brown. Now, mind you, at the same time, this motherfucker trying to convince you and I that he's so intellectually inclined and he's so much more educated than you and he knows something that you didn't learn about in school. This son of a bitch confused John Brown, the white man who's... Uh, uh, tried to spark 
uh, a rebellion of enslaved people to goddamn end slavery. A man who thought that he was called by God to end slavery, okay? That white man who ultimately was executed for him trying to do that shit. Charleston White confused that man with legendary football player Jim Brown. Bullshit artist. He talks about him being non-religious, okay? Uh, and he tried to explain to Cam Newton why that is and all that kind of shit. And he said in that one part, he said he, he, uh, 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 he believes in Jesus, but he's not religious. He, he uh, you know, because when he wanted the Bible, they didn't give it to him because he was locked up. But now he talks about all these other books that he has access to. And that Cam Newton. They call him on it like you had all access to all those books, you couldn't get hold to a Bible, and then he had to switch the story. Well, I couldn't understand the Bible. Come on, man. And I ain't knocking them being non religion, goddammit. I'm non religion. I believe strongly in God. I believe strongly in God. But when I got into my adulthood, I stopped following any organized religion. Okay, so I'm not a Christian, I'm not a Muslim, I'm not a Jew, I'm not a Hindu, <clears throat> I'm not a Buddhist, a Taoist, uh, I'm not any of the uh, Native American religions, I'm not any of the Native African religions, religions, okay, but I am a strong believer in God, okay. But Charleston White and, and, and me, two different motherfuckers, from the way he acts, the way he talks, the, the shit he talks about from morals and ethics. <sighs> Two do totally different human beings. But he want to act like he or me. When asked by Cam New if he would have done what Dion did in terms of, you know, taking the money and running. Initially, he said he would have done it. But then he goes on to say that uh, uh no, he turned down five million dollars uh, to take a five hundred thousand dollar deal to stay with black folk. Motherfucker be all over the place. Bullshit artist. Oh, uh, he said he thinks everyone who has an education is dumb, which is why he convinced his son to drop out of uh, school bullshit artist now I gotta check cam newton on some shit okay and, and, and while trying to defend Deion sanders uh decision to leave jackson go to colorado all right this motherfucker cam newton compared getting out of jail early to leaving jsu like he made a comparison like if you uh were up to get out of jail on good behavior. Did he, this is what he's saying to Charleston White. If you were up to get out of jail on, if, if a person was up to get out of jail on good behavior, you know, should they stay in jail or should they go ahead and get out early? What the fuck kind of comparison is that? Look, man, I know everybody got these goddamn podcasts and all this shit and it's popping and, and, and if you, because of celebrity worship and, and dick ride, because Cam Newton won a Heisman Trophy and, and, and uh, did his thing at Auburn and, and won an MVP in the NFL, you know, he can use that, you know, popularity to have a million subscribers on YouTube already. I get it. Okay. But that does not mean that these motherfuckers built for this shit for real, for real. What kind of goddamn analogy is that? How in the hell is being the head football coach of one of the blue blood HBCU football programs anywhere comparable to being in jail? What the fuck are we talking about? Now, the $300,000 Dion we're making at Jack State is much less. Then with the five million dollars that they eventually, you know, decided to give them, well, they said they're gonna pony up when, once they gathered the money at Colorado. Vastly different, right? But three hundred thousand dollars make your ass rich. I don't give a fuck what we talking about. Y'all better stop this bullshit. Three hundred thousand 
three hundred thousand dollars a year. Look, if I can turn IG Entertainment into a business where I'm getting three hundred thousand dollars a year off this shit, you motherfuckers ain't gonna be able to tell me shit. You can't tell me shit now, but you damn sure ain't gonna be able to tell me shit with, with, with me bringing home that. Stop it! What? what, what, what? Just had to bring that cam with uh these motherfuckers be going some wild places in the defense of Prime. Some wild places. But I digress. Let's keep going with the bullshit artist, Charleston White. This motherfucker claiming, what about HBCU? What about Jack State? These folks got in Jack State and my phone. And the motherfucker consistently call Jackson Jacksonville throughout the goddamn uh interview. That man don't give a fuck about no Jackson, Mississippi, y'all. Don't let this bullshit artist fool you. Cause how the fuck this man supposed to be so educated and so intellectual and know all this shit and he don't know about Jackson, Mississippi. If you supposed to know all this shit, I, you supposed to have some knowledge of the civil rights movement then, right? You know what I'm talking about? Jackson, one of those pivotal goddamn places in the movement. You know what I'm talking about? Everybody hear about Birmingham and Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, you hear about Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I'm talking about? But goddamn, Jackson, Mississippi? The city is in Jackson, Mississippi. The goddamn Freedom Rise in Jackson, Mississippi. Mega Elvis getting killed in Jackson, Mississippi. What the fuck are we talking about? Calling Jackson, Jacksonville. What the fuck are we talking about, dog? Bullshit artists. Bullshit artist. Then let me get back to Cam real quick, though. Again, he folks be going some wild places defending Prime. And Cam went to, you know, the Prime Defenders, uh, one of their go-to plays. You feel me? It's like when they run out of shit, they show enough run to this. And it's that uh, bullshit about uh, the white schools or even the NFL, going to give the black coaches these chances, all these chances, because of what uh, Prime is doing. <sighs> no, they are not. What the hell about America? What about America makes motherfuckers think? That white folk. Going to take something from themselves to give to you just because it's the right thing to do. What in American history has proven it? That wasn't the case when it came to our fucking uh, uh, freedom with the, the, you know, finally getting our freedom with the 13th Amendment. That's not what it, uh, that wasn't true when it came to ending Jim Crow. What the fuck makes folks think that's the shit that's going to happen? Hmm? Still, I ain't, ain't nobody told me this yet. North Carolina Central, their coach getting in the, in the calls and then rumors about jobs. I need to know. It, it, Willie Simmons just won the goddamn swag championship today. Okay. Hell of a season by fam you. Do we hear any rumblings? Huh? Do we hear any rumblings? Prime got his job at the swag championship last year. He ain't waiting to the celebration, bro. Let me go, let me go to Twitter right now in real time. Let me go go on Twitter in real time and see if anybody is telling me that Willie Simmons. It's going to get one of these jobs out here. Because I'm not seeing nothing. Maybe I need to type in Willie's name. I'm going to type in Willie's name, okay? I, 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 and see what comes up. Because maybe Cam Newton got information that I don't have, okay? Oh, don't see shit. I see congratulations to these motherfuckers, okay? That's what that's what I'm seeing. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not seeing it, y'all. I'm not saying I'm seeing him. He he got awards and and all this type of shit. Uh uh. And somebody just compared this man to Martin Luther King. They say he sound like Martin Luther King. Okay, we wilding a little bit. Okay. I'm not seeing this man get no P5 offer. 
Cam Newton don't even know who Willie Simmons is. The fuck we talking about, man? Stop it! Deion Sanders is not just a black head coach. This motherfucker is a uber celebrity. Cam Newton. I would love to be on Cam Newton's show. I would have to tell Cam Newton, Cam, that motherfucker, your fame and his fame even different. Cam is a Heisman Trophy winner and an NFL MVP, and he played quarterback, and he still can't sniff Deion Sanders' fucking fame and prestige and shit like that. You know, that's different. Eddie George right there at Tennessee State is a former Heisman Trophy winner. The motherfucker played running back in the Super Bowl and still don't garner the goddamn attention. As prime. Come on, man. What are we doing? What we doing, man? Stop the bullshit. Stop the bullshit narrative. No, they ain't, man. No, they ain't. These goddamn schools going to pick who the fuck they want to. They pick prime because they saw dollar signs. The other coach ain't going to goddamn be able to create them dollar signs like that. I, they probably get coach better in terms of the X's and O's. But in terms of uh, the generating the buzz and, and getting college game day and big noon and, and SI to goddamn award you person of the year for a poet made record, these guys can't do that. What the fuck is Cam I'm talking about? But I digress, y'all. Let's get back to the bullshit orders. Okay? Let's get back to the bullshit orders. Charleston White claims that we didn't give Prime the rest of his money on his contract. See, he, that shit got in there real quick, okay? When he was when he was trying to say that Prime should have stayed because cause you already know that the school had money problem. Why they ain't give him the uh, rest of his money on their contract? See how this motherfucker continuing that false narrative? That's not why that man j left Jack State University. Ain't nobody cheat that son bitch out his money, bro. That man did what he wanted to do, which will prove himself so he can go get a job at a power five. That's what the fuck he wanted to do. Why is the truth so hard to believe? I tell you why. Because Deion Sanders keeps spreading that bullshit. Because he too is a bullshit artist. But let's keep going. Now this was uh, especially heinous. And a lot of folks overlooking this. And I'm disgusted by it. I was disgusted by the comments. And I'm disgusted by motherfuckers who are out here championing this man. Even though he said this, this fuck shit. Okay. Cam Newton did some little saying where you talking about, oh, uh, give me one word for, you know, whatever person I say. And so Cam said Brittany Renner. You know, to my, you know, Brittany Renner, she's an influencer, model, I guess, like fitness enthusiast, you know, uh, former soccer player at Jack State University. Okay. And Cam Newton asked Charleston White for one word about Brittany, Brittany Renner. And, uh, and Charleston White said, hot. You know, he was like, she looked good as a motherfucker in person. Okay. So Cam decides to go further. He asked, you know, basically, could you handle a woman like the, her or whatever? And Charleston White said, yeah, you know, but you got to be aggressive with her. Long story short, you say you got to beat a woman like her. And so that led into a back and forth between Cam and uh, Charleston White. And I'm glad that Cam did push back on that shit. Uh, but this man basically went into this whole spiel about sometimes you got to be the woman. So, you know, especially if that shit, just him talking, that if, and if, nobody need to say nothing about it. If that's my bitch, that's my bitch. How I handle my bitch is, is my business. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, even compared it to, you know, you having to beat your woman like you had to beat your kid sometimes. You beat your kid 
uh, because you love them, or sometimes you got to beat your woman because you love them. This the motherfucker, man, that in the comment section of that goddamn YouTube video, I ain't died too far because I ain't want to run on my blood pressure, but this the motherfucker that some folks in the comment section talking about some we need more black men like Charleston White. The fuck we do? We need more bullshit artists? That what we need. That what we need. So we been applaud this man for getting on Dion ass. We we love that so much that we gonna overlook that this motherfucker talking about beating women. Somebody need to be getting on his ass as well. Both of them need a way I whoop their ass, but it's bullshit that they putting out here. What are we talking about, man? Especially coming off all the shit that's in the news right now. I just did a segment about sexual assault. Okay, and all the allegations that's coming out. Now you're seeing more and more shit coming out. They're not only talking about Diddy, sexual assault, motherfucker. They're talking about him beating Kim Porter, allegedly. You know, back in the day and stuff like that. Wait, what the fuck we talking about, man? Then man just get on here talking about uh especially for a long-term relationship. You folks ain't gonna be together all that long without somebody getting their ass whooped. Bullshit. I can uh uh uh, uh testify in court about it if I needed to. My woman, my wife has been the lady in my life since 1996. And I ain't never in my life hit my woman. Not once. And she been a lady in my life since we were in the sixth grade. And she has been my wife since 2008. And I have never hit my goddamn wife. It's possible, young boys out there, young ladies out there, it is possible. Don't let this bullshit artist sell you on anything otherwise. Now then, uh, Cam Newton asked him, did he slap his, uh, uh, had he ever slapped his ex-wife? He said, no, but he said, I slapped my baby mama. Yeah, I was driving. I turned around and slapped her like shut up, bitch, or something like that. Like, th look at the thinking of this. Now, the motherfucker talks about being a father and having two kids. Now, if they watch that goddamn interview, they're going to hear their father talk to the world about slapping their mama. Now, he's claiming his first child is a son. How the fuck? If that was my dad, I want to beat my dad a motherfucking ass. Real talk. Fuck we doing, man? Fuck we talking about? When my father was alive, and again, my father wasn't around me like that, but my father would come visit and shit. Uh, you know, I ain't had no relationship with the motherfucker, but he he would come visit uh, the house from time to time. And he was up front drunk and talking crazy as hell to my mama. And I was back there playing a the video game, young boy, you know what I'm talking about? And I'm in my teenage years, so I'm, I'm at the point, you not know what the fuck we doing. So I walked up there to whoop his ass, but luckily, you know, Luckily for him, he had he had uh left the house. He went ahead and went out the door and got in the car and left. You know what I'm saying? And that's just for what I heard him say to my mom. This motherfucking Charleston White is on a, a video, an interview that by the time y'all see this, it'll probably have a million views and it bitch been chopped up left and right and gone everywhere. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about slapping his baby mama, talking about slapping the mother of his children. And I got black folks out here championing this bitch ass nigga. He's a nigga. Come on, man. He's a bullshit artist. Bullshit artist. Now, later on in the interview, he said he ain't never hit no one, but he would. But you just said. Okay. Okay. And lastly, and this takes the cake. Well, no, not that it doesn't supersede that bullshit I just told you. But in terms of him advocating for Jackson State and for HBCUs and the the the, the downtrodden people and the have-nots and all that bullshit that you talking. At the end of the interview, he the man tells the truth. Man. If you listen to him long enough, he does tell the truth. He said he does not care about black people. 
They don't give a damn about black people. He said if he would have seen George Floyd getting killed, he would have been just like the motherfucker that sat there and watched. Now, mind you, in, early on in the goddamn interview, he was talking about what happened to the George Floyd move, what happened to the uh, uh, no just no peace, what happened to So he's like, what happened to these movements to this? But at the same time, you like, I don't care about black people. Goddamn bullshit artists. Goddamn. This is, this is an elite bullshit artist. But the motherfucker said he does not care about black people. He only created his platform for monetization, for entertainment purposes. He doesn't give a damn about upliftment. He claims he was a frustrated youth advocate. Before he created this damn character and start acting the fool on this motherfucking internet. So don't let this man fool you. Don't feel like because he's saying something that you agree with about Deion Sanders, that this is some real motherfucker and he ain't doing nothing but preaching the gospel and all that kind of shit. Fuck that shit. That man is up here using us and how we really feel, okay? To make some money. To go viral. That's all he's doing. Just like Prime used us to, to help himself in his, his own image. Prime was not thought of as, oh, he did. he's doing so much for black people. He was not. A lot of these motherfuckers that Chairman and Prime were not a, uh, 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 watching him in the fucking 90s when he was really doing his thing. Nobody thought of no damn Deion Sanders like that. Even no, he was just like the rest of the, the 80s, 90s ball players. They were for themselves. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? For the most part. They might do some shit for the hood. You know what I'm talking about? But they weren't vocal advocates for no shit. They weren't no Muhammad Ali. They weren't no goddamn Bill Russell. You know what I'm talking about? They wasn't like that. The aforementioned Jim Brown, you know, before he went off the rails and championing Trump. But they wasn't like that. Dion was right there with Michael Jordan and all the other motherfuckers that really wasn't saying shit. That way he was. Okay? And see, knowing that, that's why motherfuckers like me shouldn't have fallen for the bullshit when it came to Jack State. But it's what I wanted. It's what I wanted. It's 2020. George Floyd was murdered. Kids were in the streets. Kids were in the streets. I spoke at a rally organized by my students. You know what I'm saying? I thought the, I thought change was in the fucking air. This shit was worldwide. We got the internet on our side. You know what I'm talking about? We can really flip this shit, dog. Get something. And then you have this motherfucker, this mega celebrity who's already rich. Who's already getting endorsements, okay? And he already got that. So he chooses to come to Jackson State and say, uh, I'm going to change the game and level the playing field and we about to return back. And I'm like, it's a black renaissance? Fuck yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Should have known better. Initially I did before he started talking. Initially, I said, okay, he's going to stay two, three years, and he's going to go. But then he started talking, and I fell for his bullshit. We fell for his bullshit. I spoke about that before. The biggest segment, and put it on some history, is a video entitled, We Believed the Bullshit. And now, some of us are believing Charleston White's bullshit that man does not give not one fuck about us y'all so no matter how you feel about prime okay and y'all know how i feel about the motherfucker <laughs> and it's gotten worse now you know how i've been saying i wish him well and all that kind of shit i ain't gonna say that no more i have new information i have new information that i cannot divulge about some of the shit this motherfucker was really saying down here you know to me when he was here some of these folks that were close to him in a professional manner, you know what I'm talking about, they know the real Deion Sanders. I can't speak on it. I can't speak on it. 
I, I pray that they speak on it. Because it needs to be out there. People need to know this fuck shit that this motherfucker said. Folks need to know how you really uh, feels about us here. Because really, hell, that's how he feels about black people in general. The shit that he said. So fuck that motherfucker. But I'm saying fuck Charleston White as well. And the motherfucker out here talking about uh, beating on women. And, and that even if some man beat his own daughter, he would have to know what his daughter did before he feels some type of way about it. Any man that just get online and just say whatever just to go viral. Because he say he ain't trying to goddamn use his platform to help nobody. He claim he's just a youth advocate. So I claim he helps folks in real life. And so that's why he doesn't try to use his platform to help folks. What the fuck? What kind of mindset is that? I help motherfuckers in real life. He talking about 12 years as some youth advocate, goddamn. I did a decade in the goddamn classroom and, and still been helping folks. Now I go uh, uh, across the whole state of Mississippi, damn near, helping teachers and students. So throw on another five years. You know what I'm saying? So 15 motherfucking years of helping folks. And I still get on here and use my platform to help people too. That shit does not have to be exclusive. But you know what it is? Because he knows being a goddamn shock jock is more lucrative than doing what I do here and being real. See, sometimes y'all might be shocked that I said that. Or, or some people still getting their feelings because I cuss. As I've said before, if you worried about me cussing more than you worried about uh, 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 us winning, then something fucking wrong with you. Something wrong with you. Okay. And he kind of gets into that with you know, people criticizing his delivery, you know, to my while also, you know, championing these rappers and all these other folks. But again, he says some real shit mixed, uh, surrounded by all this bullshit. But he only say the real shit to defend his position because he's not a real dude. He's a fucking cartoon character. He is a goddamn um, shock jock. Like Howard Stern is for white people. That's who he is. That's who he is. See, Howard Stern was on the radio. Charleston White is on the internet. It's lucrative. But don't, don't, don't be fooled. We got fooled by one bullshit artist. Let's not make it two. Put it on some.